Hi, I'm Murphy Limon, OM Tech Laser Support Specialist. The two limit switches on your CO2 laser are critical to operating a machine. They prevent the laser head from trying to move beyond the workbed limit and relate the laser head's location to the control panel. If one of your limit switches goes down, it's very difficult to use your laser machine. Today, I'll show you how to replace the limit switches on your OM Tech laser to get your machine up and running again. To replace the limit switch, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, wire cutters, wire strippers, crimpers, a butt connector, and electrical tape. Once you have all your tools ready, we can move on to the first step. Step one, open the workbed cover and locate the red limit switch that you're having problems with. The limit switches have two screws that hold them in place. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove both screws. Step two, then use your wire cutters to cut the limit switch off the cable and remove it. Leave the cable in place with about four inches of extra wire to connect the new limit switch. Step three, take the new limit switch and use your wire cutters to cut the cable off about four inches from the limit switch. Step four, then take the new limit switch and use a knife or razor blade to open up the insulation or rubber housing around the wire. Now you can easily pull apart the insulation to remove it from about one and a half inches of the wire, revealing three internal cables. Step five, Next, cut away the extra insulation using your wire cutters. Then use your wire strippers to remove the inner layer of insulation from the internal cables. Step six, repeat these steps to do the same for the old limit switch cable. Once you have the ends of both cables ready, you can connect them. Step seven, insert the three wires from the new limit switch into one end of the butt connector. Then, insert the three wires from the old limit switch cable into the other end of the butt connector. Ensure all of the inserted cables reach the butt connector's metal tube. Step eight. Now use your crimpers to crimp both sides of the butt connector. You can use either heat shrink tubing or electrical tape to protect the new wiring. Step nine. Finally, screw in the two screws to mount it in place. Step 10. Before you turn on your machine and test the new limit switch, manually move the laser head or gantry until it reaches the new limit switch. Check to ensure the laser head or gantry nearly touches the top of the limit switch sensor and does not hit the side of the sensor. Step 11. Every time you turn on your laser machine, the laser head must home or move to the corner where it can sense both limit switches. This signals the laser head's position to the control panel, helping coordinate its movements. In order to test out the new limit switch, we need to trick the machine by triggering the limit switch before the laser head can home. Get your screwdriver ready and then turn on the machine. Before the laser head can reach the new limit switch, trigger the limit switch by placing your screwdriver directly on the new sensor. The laser head or gantry should stop, indicating the trick has worked, and so does your new sensor. Step 12. Finally, turn off the machine and turn it back on again. Allow the laser head to home normally this time, ensuring the laser head does not crash. If it crashes, the cause is likely a sensor positioning issue. Give us a call. We can help you work it out in no time. And that's how to replace your limit switch. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to OMTech on YouTube. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this OMTech install.